Welcome to... Welcome to Culture Shock. Culture yes. Shock. Yes. So we're back here with more about Japanese culture. And today we're looking at Japanese bento boxes. Bento boxes. Yeah. So bento are a kind of lunch box, mm -hmm. traditional to Japanese culture, where um, your entire lunch is all packaged up nice and tight in a little box for you. Ooh, I like lunch. There we go. I'm always up for food. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a very convenient way of carrying it around. So it's all uh, packaged up. It's usually in a, in a cloth. So you can just kind of carry it with you anywhere. It's very convenient. Hmm. So is it literally a box? It's like a, a box? lunch box? Yeah, well, yeah. A square shape? Um, box, so it, it, it's often square shape. It can be circular. It can be uh, round. It can be all sorts of different shapes. It can be rectangular. Mm -hmm. um, it all depends. The traditional shape is rectangular with uh, curved edges. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and you'll see that often. A red lacquered box in Ooh, that shape is nice. a... Yeah, exactly. So um, that's what you often see for, for bento, and they'll, they'll typically have rice in there, of course, uh, plus other things depending on what's been prepared for the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've actually been around for a long time. They go all the way back to the late 1500s in Japan. Wow. Uh, yeah, um, even in their, their current modern known form. So um, they were started as a, um, a thing you would take out with you to, um, on special occasions, if you wanted to do a, a, a garden viewing, things along those lines, you package them up into a bento. Almost like a picnic? Exactly, yeah. Oh. So, uh, so they, they kind of uh, standardized on this particular uh, sort of size and format for bento, and then it became a popular thing ever since. A standard lunchbox. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, and you'll see often in, uh, in Japan, now obviously uh, when you have so little space in your domicile for things, things need to be multi-purpose. Mm. So the bento box um, can be used for anyone in the house. It's, a, it's a, a good size. And so instead of trying to have 10 different lunch boxes with different uh, designs and so forth and so on, you generally have just the one lunch box for each person. Um, and then that's wrapped up in a cloth often. So you just carry the cloth and you've got your, your box with you. Ready to go. Exactly. <laughs> um, and we were just looking earlier how this has changed a lot in recent years with uh, what's called Kiara Ben or character bento where folks will actually make designs with the food in different, uh, showing different characters from anime or manga or um, um, idols or what have you, actually made out of the wow, food. Yeah, that's, that's taking creativity in food to a whole <laughs> new level. Uh, playing playing with, with the food, food. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that's the uh, kind of the neat thing is that people get really creative by trying to, to show that off to people. And, uh, and obviously, you know, most of the time, or, or traditionally, classically, this was something for your kids to take to school. So, uh, you know, special for your kid to open up their lunchbox <laughs> and see Hello Kitty looking back at them or what have you. And take it to work. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully, you know, you give something for your, for your husband or, or wife, whatever, going off to work. They'll, you know, they'll have their bento Surprise. as well. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, bento was not always the, the happy thing that we know of it today. It was also rather controversial. Controversial uh, lunch? Yeah. The I, lunchbox? Imagine that. How? Well, back in the early 20th century, there were some controversy around the fact that, well, a lot of kids didn't get a lot of food, period. Mm. So some kids would go to school with these nice big lunch boxes, these bent out with all this food uh, inside them, while kids next to them weren't getting any food at all. Ooh. So it was seen as a little bit of a hoity-toity thing to do, ooh. to bring all this food along with you when other kids didn't have as much. Mm. Uh, moreover, the Japanese government and Japanese education system were trying to standardize on school lunches. So they were trying to provide food for all the kids. And if some kids brought their own food, they weren't getting the same nutrition as other kids. Um, so it got a little complicated. Hmm. And uh, yeah. So, so in order to create more equity between everybody, they... Mm -hmm. They actually did ban. Uh, ban? Uh, yeah, um, uh, most schools ban bento uh, lunch boxes. You cannot bring school. your lunch. Exactly. Wow. Uh, at least for, for, for most students. Uh, for, for a while. Now, that, that eased off after a while. Now, you can bring Brento if you want to. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and uh, like schools over here, especially in like um, junior high or high school, you, know, you can go down and you can buy food at, um, at a cafeteria if you want to or what have you. So um, it's, it's certainly become a much more normal thing. But for a while there, it was a little... Uh, um, it was in a spe its own special place. So that was their effort to standardize nutrition? Yeah. It's, it's standardized nutrition and to make sure that all the kids got provided for equally. 
Um, and of course, this was back when Japan was going through a lot of privation. They'd gone through a lot of different wars in the, in the early 20th century. So there wasn't a lot of food to go around generally. So the idea was, you know, let's just make sure all the kids get the right amount of food. So you can kind of see it from both sides. Yeah. Of, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was unfortunate. kids to get nutrition, you don't want to fighting over it, but at the same time, a minimum level of health. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and it's a good example of how the Japanese school system can be very um, one size fits all. You know, a lot of times the, the, the focus is on making sure that uh, um, everyone gets the same thing, not as much uh, individualization mm -hmm. of, of things, but it's just a different way of doing things. Well, now, some of those bento boxes are very individualized, <laughs> very specialized, <laughs> and very creative. Yeah, I know. And, well, and it, it's up to those, um, uh, those stay-at-home moms or dads who are um, you know, working on those boxes to make it, to make it look good for their kids. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So, yeah, so that's basically what bento boxes are. Excellent. Cool. Sh shall, shall we look at some... Oh, yeah. So, so we have boxes. here some, some examples, as, as we'll see here. Uh, so here's a traditional um, circular style bento box, as you can see. Um, uh, we see the rice there in the, in the upper right corner. And then you see some other examples here uh, as we kind of cycle through. So here's another one in a rectangular shape. Um, with some uh, rice down there, with four leaf clovers on it. That's kind of sweet. <laughs> uh, and, and some other fruits and vegetables uh, as Lucky well. Lunch. <laughs> Lucky lunch, exactly. <laughs> and uh, here we see an example of a Chiara Ben, uh, <laughs> character Bento. We might recognize that character there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there's a little Totoro with some other snacks. Wow. And you see, one of the nice things is that this gives you a lot of different, um, different foods. Hmm. So, one of the classic things of a Bento is it's not just all rice or all chicken or whatever. Mm. Uh, it's a wide variety of different kinds of foods all packed together. Ah, so nutritional variety. Exactly. And here's what you would call an okaki uh, ben, which is a picture bento. So it's not a specific character, but it's some picture or image. Scenery, time of year. Exactly, yeah. So a little owl, and we see some uh, uh, orange and yellow up there uh, sim uh, symbolizing fall and some fall leaves. Uh, and you see we've got some uh, strawberries up there, rather nice. So, um, a you know, full harvest. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And it gives you an idea of uh, everything going on there. So now obviously, um, this has become an industry now. So there are plenty of places where you can buy molds for, for these, uh, and you can buy, you know, prepackaged, um, um, paper, the edible paper that you can put on there that'll have a character on it. Wow. Things along those lines. You can really edible customize. Edible paper. <laughs> yeah. So if you have a, a, a kid who loves Naruto, for example, you can have Naruto in the lunchbox and they can just <laughs> eat that away. <laughs> yeah. So that's what uh, Bento looks like. Yeah. So, nice. yeah. So that, that's, that's about it. Yeah. Ah, time, time we should eat some. Yeah, there we go. <laughs>